to do many videos at once because um, sometimes I don't have time to film so I like to have videos pre-filmed of course we are going to do a look with this and I probably comes in this beautiful bag like I showed you before oh, isn't this the most beautiful packaging ever let me do a couple of swatches here are the colors I will swatch uh, I think this one here it's called flame I don't know if you can see it but it looks so nice almost like uh, duochrome very nice and then I'm going to swatch one of the green colors I don't know which look I'm going to do. The purple one, let me swatch the purple one. So my camera just decided to die. <laughs> I'm sorry. So let's do some more swatches. I'll take some of these natural shades or they are not so shim shimmery. And this one is discreet. It's a very nice translucent color. Translucent, did I say that right? I don't think so, doesn't matter. And we we'll take this, the one color that is very kicking off a lot, that it looks beautiful but kind of chunky, it's this framed. I don't know if you can see, it's almost like my skin color. Let's take uh, this bitter. This one is beautiful and very pigmented. Well, I won't do all the swatches. If you want to see a video where I do all the swatches, please uh, let me know down below in the comments section so I know if I'm going to film it. I usually do that, but there are so many colors and uh, I just want to do a makeup look. I did try this palette, I can say, before. I used it maybe once or twice, I think it was twice. I don't like all the colors, especially Deadbeat, the black one. It has a little bit too much glitter in it and when you blend it just the glitter disappears it, I don't like it and uh, also I have a hard time with this creep it's on also very sorry help this one this one also has some I don't know glitter that disappears when you blend it also crowbar low I don't know uh, this Arctic too it has to be too much glitter in it so when you blend it I don't really I don't know it's a beautiful color but it's very shimmery but there are some glitters in it that I do not like that they can be without because it gets everywhere the shimmer is still there but there is glitter glitter too that just gets everywhere it's not in on this part when you put the eyeshadow it's like around I don't know if you can see it but it's a nice eyeshadow I don't know what kind of look I'm going to do and they are so hard to be real they, they will stain I don't know some people like that some people don't I really don't have any opinion if I like it or not I do not know I'll use this mirror because it's a big mirror and beautiful Ta-da! Hello there! Gorgeous! I used this eyeshadow primer that I bought for this uh, full makeup look uh, with makeup under $20. I did try it and I think it worked okay because there, at the end of the day when I uh, applied this and after use, doing this make, after doing the makeup look the eyeshadows blended together and at the end of the day I had like one color on my eyelids but the eyeshadows were there so I don't know if 
the quality of the eyeshadows were bad or if it's this primer but I definitely want to try it again because I did try these eyeshadows with my um, Smashbox primer and it worked okay so I want to try this and I did set it with some powder and I'm going to use this framed color this one in the crease and just to set Look, this is my least favorite eyeshadow. It looks... doesn't look good. God. Then I'm going to take this bitter in my crease. Also as a tr tr transition shade. This one is too dark, so I have to blend it. this trend uh, framed again this one just blend the edges then I'm going to take this smaller blending blush and take the darkest color here take this C note this green bluish color the half of my and I'm going to use this flat brush eyeshadow brush I don't know which brand <laughs> to take this smaller blending brush again and take the darker and take this darker color again because I just want it a little bit more dark at the edges here
I'm going to take this blending brush again and blend here like into my crease. Take this bitter first. green blush color to be more intense I'm going to take some fix plus and spray on brush and try to apply it wet and see how that works then then I think I'm going to take um, this color now you see better because there is no light shimmery color that I can yeah he, that I can use here I will take my this Midnight Sun highlighter from Makeup Geek and use that one instead. So this is the final look and I do like it. Now if I think this is the best, where is it now? What do I think? Is this worth the money? Maybe not. I could live without this palette. Now there are some beautiful colors. Nothing that you can't get in other palettes. Maybe this purple one or pink purple one. I don't know. Some colors, they are easy to work with, they are easy to blend, but some colors are not as pigmented as I would like them to. And some of them has a little bit too much glitter, so when you blend them in, the glitter disappears and gets everywhere. A lot of fallouts. Not as much fallouts on my eyes, but they, they are a little bit too powdery, so it's not the best Urban Decay eyeshadows. Uh, and the big minus that I think really something that they maybe should put in this palette is like a um, very color like maybe white silver shimmery so you can put um, in the corner of my of the eyes or under the eyebrows uh, they really miss that kind of eyeshadow and also a nice shadow between these two like this very light and the darker Shadow, there, there is some shades that maybe should be between these two or these two because this one is a little bit too dark for the crease if you don't want to go now of course you can put a little bit of it but I think I don't know it's just too much work for this eyeshadow palette I, I do it looks very messy right now a lot of kick off but I do like how it looks, so I will definitely, of course, use this palette when I have time, but I don't think it's it's not something that I'm going to travel with or something that maybe I should grab for, if you know what I mean. So, if you like these colors, definitely try it, but do I think it's worth the money? I really can't say that. It's not one of my favorites, so... Some of the shadows are beautiful and I'm going to do more looks with them on my channel. But I do like how it turned out and the eyelashes that I'm using right now are my favorites. And it's a House of Lashes, Temptress Wispy I think it's called. Palette, if you have it or if you're considering to buy it, uh, I think you should maybe put your money on something else 
or another palette because this one is a beautiful palette but it really disappointed me because I was expecting more from Urban Decay eyeshadows. That was everything. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye!